Moving on to now some political action, and this is coming from South. Remember, since 1984, Tamil Nadu has not seen any party enjoying two successive terms in power, and that's the jinx. The incumbent AIA DMK is desperate to break its strategy, mix it up with fresh faces. CNBC TV Ninjut Sanit brings us a special report. CR Saraswati is a familiar face on national TV as the spokesperson for the AIA DMK. But this changed a month ago. Today, Saraswati is gearing up to contest her first election. Contesting from the party's stronghold of Palavaram, the same seat that saw AIADMK founder M.G. Ramachandran or M.G.R. contest his first election, Saraswati has replaced incumbent MLA P. Dansing. Saraswati says her poll strategy is simple. Reach out to women and highlight the state government's achievements. Women are so happy with Amma till today because all the children are studying by the help of the government. Amma is giving them so much of schemes like cycles, laptops, gold coins. I can say, we can go on say, and there's no power crisis in Tamil Nadu today. When 2011 DMK left the Tamil Nadu, there were 16 hours power cut. Today there's no power cut. Saraswati isn't alone. The AIA DMK's final candidate list has nine fresh faces contesting from constituencies in and around Chennai with incumbent MLAs being displaced. Some of these include former Chennai Police Commissioner R. Natraj, the party's youth wing secretary V. Alexander, and former entrepreneur and HR consultant K. Pandirajan. Pandirajan, for instance, is contesting from Avadi, a constituency which was particularly hard hit by last year's floods and is expected to see a high anti-incumbency factor. His platform, the promise of change. I have made a one to turn this into a corporation. Uh, currently, there are six different local self-government units here, uh, two municipalities, and one town panchayat, three panchayats. Uh, I'd like to work towards making it as a corporation. This will actually be the fifth largest corporation in Tamil Nadu. Some political analysts tell us that a majority of Tamil Nadu's anti-incumbency votes this election will originate from constituencies around Chennai, especially those impacted by the floods in December. But the ruling AIA DMK has decided to take these constituencies head on, fielding formidable candidates, all of whom are choosing to focus on the positives, like the rapid pace of flood relief distribution, the state's social welfare schemes, and economic growth. In Chennai, this is Jyotanam.